Hey, what's up YouTube? Jeremiah Hersey here. Welcome back to the next PL300 test prep question. Today we're going to be looking at errors with inside of your data. Now, as a best practice, if you have the availability to fix the errors that occur in the original data set, that is going to be best practice. But when you don't have the availability to work with the original data set, we need a way to modify errors with inside of the Power Query. So we're going to look at several different options here and see what they do. We're going to start off in the Power Query. Let's get started. So here I am inside the Power Query editor and I have just this basic data set here with pricing and an associated discount. Now one of the first things that I want to point out here is that this data type here at the top, this ABC123 is a generic data type. This means that the Power Query editor has tried to identify whether this is a numeric value or a text value and it's not sure and so it's going to give it this generic data type. As a best practice we want to make sure that we specify data types to what the data is representing and this is going to optimize performance and allow encoding as we move this from the Power Query to the Power BI desktop. The other thing I want to point out is as we look at these errors if we select the cell where the error is located, you're going to be able to get an idea of why this error occurred. And so that's what I'm going to show you now. If I select the cell, not the hyperlink, but the cell where the error occurred, and you look down at the bottom, it's going to show you that we have a data format error, that this is an invalid cell value. So because of this, it gives us a preview of what's going on, but we're going to have several options available to us to take care of these errors. So the first option here is if we select the discount column and we right click, we're going to see several options. So the first one is going to be to remove the errors. Now if we remove the errors, something that you need to know is that it removes the rows associated to it. So it's going to remove the rows associated to the errors and so if we remove the errors then it's going to remove these four rows. So anything associated to the error it's going to remove all of the rows associated to that error. So let's take a look at that first. So if I right click and I choose remove errors, what you're going to notice is that we're now down to all of the values that are not associated to errors. And while this might be something that you need to do in your business scenario, maybe you want to maintain the values that are associated to the errors and not necessarily just remove them completely. So I'm going to go ahead and remove that step. Let's take a look at the other option for handling errors. If we right click on our discount column here and we choose to replace the errors, it's going to give us the option to choose a value that we want to replace the error with. In my case, I want to replace it with 0.2 or 20%. So I'm going to type in 0.2 here and I'm going to click OK. So this now replaces the values associated to the errors. We can see that we have all of the values now are the same, the 20% discount here. But one thing that we have to take into consideration is the data type. Notice that this data type is ABC123 still, so this is a generic data type. So we want to make sure that we choose the correct data type for our column. And so with that, we want to make sure that we change this to a decimal number. So I'm going to click on the icon here and I'm going to choose a decimal number to convert that to a proper data type. And so in this way, we can maintain our data. We're not going to remove any of the prices associated to it. And this is going to work out best for our business scenario. So let's go ahead and take a look at our test prep question. It says, you use the Power Query Editor to preview the data shown in the following exhibit. You need to clean and transform the query so that all the rows of data are maintained and error values in the discount column are replaced with a discount of 0.05. The solution must minimize administration effort. Which three actions should you perform in sequence? 
So as always, let's look at some of the important pieces of information here. The first one is that all of the rows of data are going to be maintained. This is telling us that we are not going to remove errors, but we are going to replace the errors. Additionally, it also tells us that down here to confirm what we're thinking is that we're going to replace with a discount of 0 0.05. And so as we look to change this data and transform it, we are going to replace the errors with a discount of 0 0.05 so that it is correct. So as we look at the visual here at the top, notice that this is telling us that the data typing of this discount column is a generic data type, meaning that it doesn't know whether this is going to be a text or a numeric field. And so it's given it this generic data type. As we spoke about before, we want to make sure that our columns are data typed appropriately. So let's look down here at the bottom at our action. So the first one says select the discount column. The second one says select the price column. For the discount column, change data type to decimal number. For the discount column, change data to the whole number and select replace errors and replace each error value with 0 0.05. Now, because the errors are already in our data set, we can't simply just replace errors without choosing the column first. And so the correct option here would be to select the discount column. So the column that we're looking at is the discount column. So we're going to go ahead and select that column first. So the second option says select price column. Well, we're not dealing with the price column. So we're going to go ahead and eliminate that action. The second part that we have to do is then replace the errors. If we just change the data type, we're still going to be maintaining that error with inside of that column. And so we need to replace the errors first. So select the discount column is going to be our first option here. The second option that we're going to choose here is to select replace errors. So we're going to replace those errors with the value of 0 0.05 that it told us to. And the last step here is we have to choose a data type. So as we think about what these data types are, so as we look at the number and the value here, we can see that they are decimal numbers. So our third and final option would be to change the data type for our discount column to a decimal number. So this is going to be our third option here in order, select the discount column replace the errors with a value of 0 0.05. And then finally, we're going to change that data type to a decimal number. I want to thank you so much for joining me. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content. I'll see you in the next one.